When we talk about Rambo 6, the big question on everyone's mind is whether Sylvester Stallone will be back or if they're going to find someone new to fill those boots. Stallone, the man behind the bandana, has hinted that he might be passing the torch to someone else for the next Rambo adventure. Now, for those who've been keeping track, Stallone's been Ramboing it up since way back in 85, all the way through five movies until 2019. But as for Rambo 6, well, it's not exactly a done deal yet. There's talk of a series instead of a movie, and while Stallone's involved, he might not be the main Rambo this time around. So what's the deal with recasting? Well, it's on the table. They're thinking of bringing in a younger actor to take over the reins from Stallone. It's all part of this bigger plan for a Rambo series that's been brewing since way back in 2013. Stallone's been chatting about it, saying it's likely to happen. And get this, they're tossing around ideas for the story too. One pitch involves showing a younger Rambo in Vietnam, how he went from a regular guy to the ultimate action hero. But there's also talk of a more modern day tale where Stallone's Rambo hands over the action-packed baton to a new generation. So who will he be? Okay, we have a few picks, and the top one is picked by Sylvester Stallone, aka OG Rambo himself. Let's kick things off with Carl Urban. Now, Carl might not be the youngest buck in Hollywood, but don't count him out just yet. You probably recognize him as Bones from the new Star Trek movies. So why do folks think he could make a killer John Rambo? Well, for starters, he's got some experience stepping into Stallone's shoes. Remember Judge Dredd? Yeah, originally played by Stallone back in 95, Urban took on the role in the 2012 reboot. It's not like playing another Stallone character is a prerequisite for Rambo, but it sure adds a cool twist to the idea. But let's talk about the real deal here, talent and physique. Urban's got both in spades. He's tackled some seriously physical roles in movies like The Bourne Supremacy and Red. Plus, he's gearing up to play the bad guy in the new Thor flick. And after some buzz about him getting another shot at Dredd or even possibly donning the cape as Batman didn't pan out, it's about time he got his chance to shine as the headliner in a full-on action franchise. Next, let's talk Joel Edgerton. This guy's got all the goods to tackle John Rambo head-on. I mean, check out his physique, his acting skills, the whole package. And you know what's cool? Like Stallone, he's not just an actor, he's a writer and director too, so he could bring some serious creativity to the table. Now, where do we see Edgerton flexing those Rambo muscles? Well, take a peek at movies like The Gift, Zero Dark Thirty, and Warrior. They're not just movies, they're showcases of Edgerton's raw talent and physical prowess. But if we're picking one that really seals the deal, it's gotta be The Gift. In that flick, Edgerton not only starred but also wrote and directed it. Talk about multitasking. He plays this character, Gordo, who's got this eerie vibe going on. It's all about old high school grudges and twisted revenge plots. Edgerton nails it, bringing depth and intensity to the role. And you know what? That kind of emotional depth could really hit home when portraying Rambo's battle scars from his time in the military. Now moving on, we have Charlie Hunnam. This guy's got that rugged action hero look down pat, and would you believe he's the same age Stallone was when he first rocked the Rambo role? At 36, he's already making waves in the action movie scene, starring in big budget flicks like Pacific Rim and soon to be headlining in King Arthur Legend of the Sword. Warner Brothers is betting big on him for King Arthur with a hefty budget, showing they've got faith in his ability to carry a blockbuster. Plus, he's got this upcoming flick, The Lost City of Z, where he's playing this military-turned-explorer dude. And let's not forget his time leading the pack in Sons of Anarchy. Now, why is he perfect for Rambo? Well, just take a look at him. The guy's built like a tank, ready to tackle those intense action sequences. And while he hasn't had that big chance to show his full acting range yet, Rambo could be just the ticket. It's a chance to dive deep into a character dealing with the aftermath of war, and we think Hunnam's got what it takes to nail it. Moving on, we have Tom Hardy. Now, if the folks behind the Rambo reboot are looking for someone who's got it all, the muscles, the acting chops, and the experience in big-time action flicks, then Hardy's your man. At 39, 
he's already proven himself in some seriously intense roles. I mean, come on, who could forget him as the menacing Bane in The Dark Knight Rises? And let's not overlook his gritty performance in Lawless. Oh, and Mad Max Fury Road? Yeah, he crushed it in that one. Plus, he snagged himself an Oscar nom for The Revenant alongside Leo DiCaprio. Next up on his list is Nolan's Dunkirk and a turn as Al Capone. But after that, well, it looks like he might have some free space in his calendar. And wouldn't it be cool to see him take on a franchise leading role like Rambo? Fun fact, while Hardy's no stranger to sequels, he's never revisited a character in a follow-up flick. So who knows, maybe he's been saving himself for the Rambo reboot all along. Next up is Jake Gyllenhaal. Now this guy's no stranger to the big screen, and he's definitely got the chops to lead a franchise. With an Oscar nom under his belt for Brokeback Mountain, he's proven he's got serious acting skills. I mean, just look at his recent work in movies like Prisoners and Nightcrawler. He really dives deep into those characters, especially when it comes to portraying the struggles of someone dealing with PTSD. And let's not forget about his physical transformation for Southpaw. The guy trained like a beast for five months to play a boxer, and it definitely paid off. Even if the movie got mixed reviews, Gyllenhaal's performance was top-notch. Now, he did take a swing at headlining a franchise with Prince of Persia back in 2010, but let's be real, that one didn't quite hit the mark. But hey, it's been six years since then, and we think he's more than ready for another shot at it. Here's hoping he finds a franchise with a bit more substance this time around. Now, at the top of the list is Ryan Gosling. Now, why is he on our radar for the Rambo reboot? Well, for starters, he's actually Sylvester Stallone's top pick. Yeah, you heard that right. Stallone himself mentioned Gosling as his choice if he ever had to pass on the Rambo mantle. Now, I know what you're thinking. Gosling, the guy from The Notebook? But hold up, hear us out. This dude's got serious acting chops, no denying that. He's even got an Oscar nom to prove it. Take a peek at The Place Beyond the Pines. Gosling plays this complex character, a stuntman turned bank robber trying to provide for his family. And let's not ignore the fact that the guy's got some serious physicality too. I mean, have you seen him with his shirt off in those movies? Yeah, he's definitely got the look. Sure, Gosling might seem like an unconventional choice for Rambo, but hey, maybe that's exactly what the reboot needs. Someone who can bring depth to the character and make it more than just your average action flick. Well, that's it for today. Which actor do you think would make the ultimate Rambo and why? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest updates. Catch you in the next video.